Hi, thank you so much for clicking on my video today. I hope that you will comment, like, subscribe, and follow me on social media at YouTube Be Beautiful because here on my channel, I'm going to teach you how you can be beautiful by feeling beautiful from the inside out. I am here to talk about the root chakra. If you have no idea what the root chakra is, what, who, what, when, why, where, um, answer to that. Hope you like my old video. <laughs> I've always known that my root chakra was not up to par. I walked, I walked da, 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 into a pagan witchcraft store to get my, to, you know, do a little shopping, none of your business. And I had some lady tell me that my root chakra needed some balancing. And I was like, God, ma'am, Jesus, thank you. But damn, I felt judged. And I left something in the store because I was not grounded at all. And I had to come back with my tail between my legs and be like, I, I left something. And she's just like looking at me like, um, honey, go do some meditating. Go do some grounding. And I'm just like, you know, that was a really long time ago. And then blah, blah, blah. We moved forward into my future and I started studying yoga. And this is where it really all began with the study of yoga because I never knew what I was getting myself into until I was in it. And here we are. <laughs> People ask me why I don't teach yoga yet. Um, there's a lot of reasons that I'm not going to answer in this video, but long story short, I am not ready to be the prime example of health and well-being from the inside out because I have to deal with a lot of inner demons that I have still. I'm almost there, I will say, but my root chakra is a huge indicator to why I'm not ready to teach people how to live blissfully living isolated and detached from outcomes for example why i say i'm not completely clear with my root chakra is because i get really angry when i go out into public spaces i went to halloween horror nights and i'm surprised the pimple didn't come out on my face from the stress that i endured at halloween horror nights which I love, by the way. I love it so much. I've been going to Halloween Horror Nights every year. Maybe might have missed like two or three. But ever since freshman year, I've been going to Halloween Horror Nights. And no. Okay. I'm getting sidetracked. I realized that when I go into public spaces, I get really, really, really just overwhelmed by the world and people. I do not like it when people get too close to me. If I'm hitting you with my elbow, babe, you know, <laughs> you're too close. If I can lift my elbow and I touch you, you're too damn close. If we're at the supermarket and you touch me, if you're touching my bag, you're too close. I went to a rave and there was literally space to walk and some girl pushed me and I was completely sober and I feel like I was just, just mostly annoyed of people the entire night that I was there. The things that I experienced, I always felt like I could ignore things when I was high because I was so out of my mind trying to grasp reality while I was high that I didn't know if things were a big deal or not. I would tell myself, you're tripping out. You need to relax. In fact, baby, you are not tripping out. People are unbearable. Unbearable. Unfreaking bearable. And yeah, I recently realized that I do drugs in order to calm the hell down. <laughs> Um, I didn't know. Mm -hmm. I thought that I did drugs because of something parent related, because I was trying to numb myself from something. And why, yes, it is 
in a deeper level when I journal, I will explain a little bit forward in the video that it is parent related. The reason, the 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 thing that you could touch, you know what I'm talking about, not like the imaginary, oh, it might be trauma, blah, blah, blah. Yes, it's connected to trauma, but that trauma has caused me to just hate people. Oh my God, I'm having a flashback. <laughs> and i cannot go to the supermarket and just be chill there's no such thing as me walking into the supermarket and chilling the hell out and you know just minding my own business either you're walking too slow you're in my way you have three people in an aisle just blocking the entire way just like huh what's in this aisle like you haven't been here every week every other week like you know what's in this aisle babe it's never changing it's the same you i i don't know i walk into this supermarket that i go to wholesale and you know how you have to have the member I, i've spoken about this i've spoken about this on this channel i have i really have and you have have either have the card out ready to go ready to rumble you're in line let's go let's get it going you have to be in the front of the line and then be selfish and then wait there and look for it and like you have literally a ton of people behind you and you're just there in your purse looking for the damn a uh, card like you have a membership i know you know how this works i know you know you have to pull the card out every single time you come here so i don't understand why you're holding up people because of your selfish needs i don't get that i don't get that i don't get you i think you suck and you know that causes me to just want to be high to be like um chilling you know but you sober linda is <laughs> girl i'm on it i'm a i'm i'm a i'm a I'm on it. I'm here. I know what I want. I know what I'm going to get. I know what I'm going to buy. I know where I'm going. I know my route. I know. I even know the places where there's going to be human traffic. I like, I mentally have to prepare myself. Okay, we're going to turn the corner and there's going to be people and they're not going to let each other by because we're in Miami. Maybe I would be happier somewhere else, but oh my God, it gives me anxiety. Right? So I realized that this has to do with my root chakra. Why? I'm glad you asked. Because I do not feel safe. I don't trust people. That's just what it comes down to. I do not trust people. I don't like humans. And I'm sorry to say it. Thank you so much for subscribing on my video. But it, I like like three people four i i like more than four but there's just some comments that people say you know i have now a new co-worker he doesn't know me he was a food runner prior to his serving days and i was trying to explain how to do something he just said a comment he was joking i get it he was joking but he says these comments all the time and he was like oh yeah women just expect men to know everything <laughs> actually quite the mother <laughs> contrary you do there's there's a lot of men out there that know a lot but you guys are emotionally unintelligent and it drives me crazy it drives me crazy there's just many things that go on in my life that i i need to work on uh, there is no reason why i should get so worked up about people that walk slow people you know there's no reason for it there's a, nobody my blood pressure is probably really high from like the ridiculousness that i go through in my everyday life and don't get me wrong there's some pe beautiful beautiful people and that one person that is here on earth out there in the real world a stranger that is aware of their surroundings bro that's it i want to kiss your feet i want to kiss your feet i'm like you are you're a diamond in the rough you know that you know that you're amazing like they they really make my day one person can make my day because i have so many so many so many doo-doo heads that are uh, not here freaking lala land and it's ridiculous what i was saying when i started ranting see my problem you see my problem you see my problem? I have, a, I have a really big problem. And that all pertains to my root chakra and me not feeling safe. So how do I fix this? 
And why does it mean that I don't feel safe? It means that I don't feel safe because the level of anger that I get is not normal. There's, there's, there's just no way about it. There is no way. I'm angry right now. Like, you know, just thinking about it boils my freaking blood. And that is indeed not normal. So what do I do about this? I repeat to myself, I am safe no matter what. Because that's a survival instinct of me trying to be this perfect thing of I have to do things this way. And if I don't do it this way, somebody gets in my way of me doing it that way. I'm pissed. I have my plan and I'm, I'm executing it. I'm a perfectionist. And that is trauma from my baby days of surviving i wanted to do everything perfect i guess as a child and i just have to really utterly repeat to myself when somebody cuts me off i am safe nothing happens they didn't hit my cart nothing happened they didn't nick me my cart didn't fall over my groceries are not all over the floor i'm not missing a toe i'm not missing like there's really nothing that i should be mad at right there's no reason why I should be that mad. So I repeat to myself in all those circumstances, I am safe. I remind myself that I am safe. And realistically, you are always safe. Like if things, the worst thing that can happen is that you die. And I'm sorry to break it to you. you babe, I'm going to be underground or burnt. So I'm like, I'm going to die one day. It's just, it just is what it is. We go through life cycles. We get old and we die. And you know that's that was your life that's it so why am i going to be angry when realistically nothing has happened i say that to say that taking risks in life and being flexible also has to do with your root chakra because that has to do with your 3d and being able to move forward in your career taking risks for yourself ever since i started working on my root chakra i realized a lot of things i tell myself that i am safe all the time and i recently got suspended for being eight minutes late at my job and it was upsetting for me just because i was only eight minutes late one that's it was a monday morning we were doing crosswords all shift and the way that my boss did it was not tasteful for me because i felt that she did not care if i had bills to pay or what i had going on it was more like yeah you were eight minutes late that's it um you you can't work for a whole week and while i just got in my car and i was grateful because i had a lot of realizations and i realized that they don't care about me so what am i doing catering and giving my energy to a job that finds me irreplaceable and does not care whether i eat tomorrow or not simple as that i repeated to myself i am safe i am safe i had moments of anxiety that week like oh my god oh my god oh my god but i told myself that i am safe i made a plan i decided that i am gonna be regularly posting youtube videos which i have been i've been doing my best to post one video a week sometimes i'm a little late <laughs> i'm doing my best i'm still trying to find my schedule I only work two days out of the week. While yes, I'm taking a huge pay cut, I feel so much happier. I feel like I can breathe. And every time I'm under that roof, I hate being there. I feel like I'm wasting my time. It's not my calling. It's not what I want to do. Creating videos is what I want to do. Talking to you about these things is what I want to do. Educating the unaware people out there that I encounter that boil my blood. I want to get to talk to people and I want to get to educate people on matters. And if you don't want to learn, there's a lot of people out there that are not going to want to learn about this stuff. And that's completely valid. It's completely fine. But I do want to find my crowd out there that I can communicate with, that I could talk to. I want to be able to change the world and do something here positively while I'm here. My time is here and now I don't want to be serving people and dealing with random people every day, not being myself. It's just not it. So when I got suspended, it's either I could lay down in bed, cry, and then hope and then just make no changes, just go back to my schedule, right? But since I'm more grounded, I reflected a lot on 
that on how it was and how it went down pretty much and I told myself that I was only gonna work two days out of the week and I budget everything I'm saving 10% of my money so I can execute my van life and I just repeat to myself I am safe and then for example this week I didn't make any money, not any money, I made some money, but definitely not my goal of what I should be making weekly. And I still am tempted to pick up a shift, but I'm not going to. I'm not going to pick up that shift because I have to remind myself that I am safe. Anything that happens, I'm going to get through it. I have abundance and I have to remind myself that even if it's not financial abundance, it's so crucial for you to understand that money isn't everything. Money is a frequency. When you start focusing on yourself and start focusing on your purpose trust that the universe has your back and trust that the universe will create abundance for you financially because that's just the way it is when you fix your relationship with the 3d world with which is the root chakra you're going to realize that all these things are going to start flowing in money is just going to start flowing in not because you're chasing money because the more you chase it the more it's going to leave because you're chasing the wrong thing you have to chase your intuition you have to chase your purpose you have to chase and follow what you think is right you have to create stop being scared of following your intuition stop it stop it right now because you have abundance and it's gonna happen and that's the point of me making this video is me telling you that i right now do not have a balanced root chakra i still have issues i still go out and get angry at strangers i'm working through it i'm seeing how i can deal with it i have to breathe in and repeat to myself every time that i am triggered by a random person i have to tell myself i am safe i am fine i'm not dying he didn't cut my finger off he's not chasing me why am i mad right now there's no reason why i should be mad for somebody cutting me off in the street there's no reason why i should be upset I, i'm safe either way whatever happens i'm safe is there if there's a war i'm gonna get through it if there is a, a god freaking forbid it's just it is what it is you know what i mean i it's normal to run and like to feel that anxiety when something legitimate is happening like a or like run girl run i'm scared like we scared we angry out here be everything you gotta be to survive you know those are where my survival skills come into play that is when i should kick that you know survival mode up but why am i in survival mode when i'm just going to a freaking supermarket or i'm going shopping there's no reason why i should be in survival mode and that's something that i have to figure out how to turn off and that comes with balancing my root chakra so yeah i'm gonna leave you with that thank you for listening to my rant thanks goodbye take only what you need never more never less don't be greedy bitch Bye.